when we sat down and we started to think about how to make the most out of the conference, we were just like, no, we're going to do everything. We're really going to maximize it. We created assets and really made sure that the virtual booth was fully optimized. Secondly, we sat down with the sales reps that were going to then be assigned to going to the conference. And we went through all the details of setting up their umbrella, all the details of the speakers, all the details of our speaker that was going to be speaking on the panel, just so they really had a lot of context around what we were doing. So what we decided to do was set up a dedicated channel to the sales 3.0 conference in October. And so everyone can see, and so you can very quickly be able to a have kind of a friendly competitive, uh, kind of environment, but also be able to see, oh boy, that's my account that you just booked and be able to switch right quickly. We also had opportunities for those sales reps to, to use the invites as part of their, in their sales motion, which is a, a great call to action, right? And given that we were a sponsor, that was also nice. So it also provided more visibility for us. Selling power, like that established brand, I think it, it lends to the chief sales officers, those VPs, those decision makers that have made your career in sales, have been in it, seen it, done it. We, uh, we were pretty happy with the return uh, on investment in terms of like booking meetings. We got meetings with some of the largest companies, Fortune 100 companies in the world. And you know, you close one of those, your, you know, your year is, uh, is done, right? Digital transformation is the only way that you, st you survive, right? And so I think that's why the appetite for innovation is much higher at a sales 3.0. I know we're gonna do more in the future.